So uh, it was back in 2013, five years ago, uh, I decided it was time for us to make another series on the world's oceans. The original Blue Planet series came out in 2001, and, and that's a generational change in terms of what we know and understand about the oceans and our impact on it. I was walking up and down the beaches uh, of the west coast of Britain because my wife is a surfer, and I kept seeing plastic waste on the beaches, and there was litter and waste everywhere I was looking, and I thought, you know, we have to tell the story of the seas as they are today. Day. We have to make this contemporary, uh, and, and that was a, um, a key factor when we decided to make Blue Planet, that we would do two things. We would connect the audience to life beneath the waves in an emotional way, but that we would show the oceans as they really are today. Our sell to the audience was come and see this wonderful world beneath the waves, but our, the take-home message was the ocean's health is at a crisis point and that it, uh, what is happening out there is important to us all for our futures and that we need to, we need to act right now. And we were lucky because um, the audience responded, but also the politicians responded. The UN um, announced a task force to combat plastic waste uh, on account of seeing the series. 250 million people in China watched the series. People all over the world talking about it. And, uh, and we feel because of that, we've perhaps just helped uh, keep the conversation around plastic waste going. And, and, and that's uh, you know, hugely exciting for us as documentary makers. You always hope that a, um, a series you make will, will start a conversation and perhaps even lead to a change. And this time we feel perhaps we've, we've helped be part of that.